Well, I'm ready. Are you guys ready? <laughs> ready or not? Okay. Play record. All right. Okay, today is Wednesday, April 26, 2006. We are at Orchard Park High School. Uh, this is the Hometown Heroes Project. We are interviewing Robert Herman. Robert Herman, who served during World War II. The interviewers are... Johnny Keating. And David Jankowski. Okay. I'll leave you two guys to learn what life of a soldier was like during World War II. And I'll be back. Um, I'll be back. Don't leave, because I'll be back to take some pictures. Okay? Fine. Thank you. And, uh... Oh, Me too. Take it easy, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so to start off, were you uh, drafted or did you enlist? I enlisted. Um, but what was your reason for joining the war? Well, <laughs> well, I was 15 years old when they bombed Pearl Harbor, and uh, I knew that sooner or later I would have been drafted. Yeah. And I chose the Marine Corps. That way, I. You know, by enlisting, I could choose, and by being drafted, I would have to go where I was told. Uh -huh. So that, so you were, so you picked the Marines, right? Yes. Um, do you recall your first days in the service? First days was boot camp in the service, and it was. Discipline mostly, you know, obeyed orders, you learned how to march, you learned how to use a rifle, and marching, and that's... How'd it feel like? Pardon? How did it feel like? Well, everything was strange <laughs> to begin with. Um, do you remember your instructors in boot camp? Not too many of them, no. no. Sixty years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how you got through it, or just it, it was easy enough. Uh -huh. Yes, it was. They made it possible. <laughs> um, where were you first stationed? Well, that was at. Uh, well, let's see. All different kinds of camps and stuff like that. Yeah. I, for, I almost forgot the name. I, <laughs> the Camp Lejeune was one that I was in, in the Camp Pendleton in California. So, so what was your job in the Army at the time? Were you just regular infantry, infantryman? Just uh, uh, rifleman is what they called me, and that's. But I have all kinds of training. Camp Lejeune, you went into all the small weaponry, uh, hand grenades and bazookas and flamethrowers and uh, you name it, but all small, you know, hand weapons. Um, did you see combat when you... No combat. No combat? So there weren't any, even in the unit you were in, there was, how many, was there any casualties or...? Well, the, the units that I joined, I joined an outfit that lost people on evil. Jima and I would be placed the ones that were lost. And almost 19, 20 percent of them were lost in that engagement. And this was in Hawaii where I joined that up. Did you get to see Hawaii? That was the fourth Marines that I joined. And you can see here that's all the engagements that they had previous to me getting in there. And, uh, this would be interesting for you to, to look at. Yeah. I mean, there's four or five different engagements that they were in. Huh. Pitch 
features. It's it's. Uh, that tells about all the battles. All, all the battles that they were in. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I was fortunate enough to go there after. Yeah. <laughs> but I was ready. I had training with heavy artillery and tanks and maneuvers with all that kind of stuff, getting ready for the next battle, which never occurred. <laughs> they dropped the bomb, and that basically ended the war. Saved my life, I think. <laughs> but it was a nice experience. It was two years in the service, approximately the, the whole thing. Yeah. Like a lot of people that you met in the army are you still friends with them to this day? Pardon? A lot of people that you met in the army, are you still friends with them to this day? Uh, there's one that just died about two months ago that we carried, you know, mm -hmm. through all the time. What was your most member some of your most memorable experiences while you were in the war? Well, I mean, the whole thing was an experience for me. I mean, how old were you when you uh, first joined the Fourth Regiment of Marines? I was eighteen. Eighteen. That was that's you. We're supposed to be eighteen to, yeah. to join. <laughs> How did the, ex your service and experiences affect your life afterwards? Well, it's just, I don't know if it had any effect on me. It's just that I appreciated that getting through, you know, and that they did stop the war before I got into it. Um, were you awarded any medals or citations? No, not. How did you stay in touch with your family while you were in? Yeah. Just mail. Mail. Did you write to them often? Not as much as they would have liked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too busy. So after you completed your service, what did you do after? Army. Did you like to school or start family? Or? Well, no, I was looking for work. I, uh, I think one of the questions was asked there is uh, if I took advantage of the GI Bill of Rights, which I tried to, but it didn't work out too good. I would, they hired me to learn thermoplastics, and uh, I didn't learn nothing. I just produced products for them. They, they took advantage of the cheap labor is what they did. Yeah. So then I, after I stopped that job, I drifted from one job to another and here and there. And I finally settled at the steel plant. What was the food like? In it was adequate. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know the healthy, as a matter of fact. Really? Got three meals a day? Yes. Um, did you have anything special you did or had for good luck? Well, you're in the military? No. 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 What, what did you guys do in the army to entertain yourself? Well, usually they, somebody would pull in some kind of a joke on another one or something like that. Short sheets you. I don't know if you ever heard of that. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> well, they'd take your sheet and they'd double it up and then you'd try to get in there and you couldn't get in. <laughs> and then they put shaving cream on your forehead while you were sleeping. 
thought you'd make a mess out of yourself. <laughs> but uh, there was always something. <laughs> And we, they, they would provide us with entertainment. I seen Bob Holt at one time. He was always with the troops and uh, yeah. and the USOs would entertain us. That's cool. What did you do when you went on leave from service? What? Well, just wait. Just glad to be home for a week or yeah. two. You know. It's, and you spent that time with your parents. Uh, while you were in service, did you uh, travel to any fun places? Or? Well, I was in Hawaii. I was on Okinawa. This this was after the war. I w was stationed in Okinawa. They called us the military government, but. All it was was a military presence there, you know what I mean? They wanted to establish a presence there. Yeah. And we did a little guard duty and stuff like that, but otherwise I hardly knew why I was there. <laughs> did you keep a diary or any notes when you were in the war? No. No. Do you recall the, the, the day that the war ended? Yes, I do. Re <laughs> relief? There was a, an awful lot of ammu ammunition being wasted at that time. There were, <laughs> everybody was firing rifles and machine guns, everything. When did you first hear that they dropped the bomb? Well, that was the same day that they dropped it. Yeah. I don't recall exactly what day that was or anything, but I, well, we didn't know that was the end of the war either. I mean, yeah. it was several weeks later before they declared the war over. Do you remember where you were when they declared that? I was in Hawaii. Hawaii. I was in Hawaii training for the next, the next phase of the war. That would have been the mainland of Japan itself. That's what we were training for. Yeah. So you can imagine what a relief it was. Yeah. There would have been a million casualties over there, you know, civilian and. Yeah, that would have been tremendous. Um. Dropped the bomb and the war was over. Where did you go after that? Back straight home, or well, like I said, I went to Okinawa uh -huh. for the military government. And how long were you there for? About eight months, and then back home and out. So after the war, you worked for thermoplastics and then just went right to uh, the steel companies? Yes, basically, yeah. Yeah. Um, did you join any veterans organizations? The VFW. VFW.
Did your uh, military experience influence your thinking about the war or about the military in general? I, I don't know. I mean, you're always looking for a reason for a war, I guess. And, uh, that was obvious. And, uh, Um, how did your service and experience affect your life? Well, it's hard to tell. I mean, yeah. uh, I'm sure it would have been different if I, you know, hadn't went into service. I would have completed high school for one thing, which I didn't. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add? No. Uh, no, it was a great experience. I, I forced into it, but it was. Makes you think about people in general, you know. Yeah. So we, we was taught to hate the enemy. And when you get over there and the war was over, they're no different than anybody else. <laughs> it's the leaders. That's why you guys should be careful. Make sure you vote. Pick out a good man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Oh, well, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I hope they helped you a little bit. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Do you mind if we uh, scan some of these pictures into the computers? <coughs> It'd be all right with me. All righty. Thanks a lot.